In the Tessera Text protocol, you can create subscriptions to DSP blocks that can provide unsolicited feedback to a third-party control system. Subscriptions are only available with certain blocks and features. A subscription update will happen no matter what changes the subscribed control. This can be used as a value grab after a command has been sent. Subscriptions will clear after a power cycle of the system. Resubscribing at regular intervals can revalidate a subscription. Subscriptions can be set up and removed as needed. Imagine if you're flipping between two different pages on a control system. You wouldn't want subscriptions being processed on a page that's not being viewed by the user. Subscriptions are only valid on a specific session. Imagine if you had two Telnet sessions connected to the same Tessera server. The subscription you set up on one Telnet session will not be visible on other Telnet sessions. Let's look at an example of creating a subscription to our level control. We have our instance tag. Our command would be subscribe, the attribute, index. For value, we need to specify a custom subscription name. Finally, we also need to specify the frequency of the subscription. This value is denoted in milliseconds. Let's try this command as an example. So as I'm moving the level control, every one second I will get the value of that point in time. Let's try that example again. This time I'm going to subscribe and get the value every 100 milliseconds instead. One useful feature of subscriptions is the ability to subscribe to the status of all telephone lines and call appearances within the Tessera system. Below is a list of all of the attributes that you can receive from the subscription. Here are a couple examples of responses you would receive from an incoming phone call.